Hello, welcome to my channel, The Forbidden Fruit. So, you got a new Mac. It would be a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, Mac Studio, or an iMac. You might have spent more than $1,000, but there is always something that is lacking in the Mac you bought. Yes, you can do anything about the memory after you have bought, because it's unified with the CPU, and you can't upgrade the internal storage too because it was soldered to the motherboard but you can expand the capabilities of your Mac for the price you would have spent on Apple branded keyboard and mouse. Apple branded keyboard with touch ID costs around $190 and mouse costs $99 and if you want to add magic trackpad it is another $149. Apple has different keyboards with or without numeric pads and touch IDs. The prices vary accordingly. Then black colored ones cost more than the white ones. So between $250 to $450 you spend just for an Apple logo. I will show you can get these essential accessories including keyboard and mouse for less than $300. These essentials are not just expanding the capabilities of your Mac. They offer power, convenience, and value for the money you spent. You can use these accessories with more than one Mac if you have. And if you upgrade to one in future, you can still use this with the future Mac. So it's a good investment to spend money on these essentials. So let's start with the keyboard and mouse. I like the USB wired keyboard and mouse. With the corded keyboard and mouse, you don't have to worry about the batteries losing charge at the critical moments or connection problems with Bluetooth. At one point, batteries don't hold charge anymore, so you have no choice but to throw them. With the corded ones, the price is always very low. And I like the mouse that has two buttons and scroll wheel, mostly for the right clicks. I use it a lot. Scroll wheel is good for, what else, scrolling. Macalai is a company that has been making keyboards and mice for Macs for a very long time. With good care, they will give you great value for the money you spent. I have the affiliate link below, so you can buy it with a single click. Whatever Mac you have, you don't have enough ports. May it be HDMI, Ethernet port, SD card slot or extra USB-A ports. You always like them. When you plug a device, you lose that port. So you want a hub that gives you a lot of connectivity. Here is a Ugreen 9 port hub that gives you just that. And it has a 10 gigabyte per second USB-C port, then 100 watt power delivery to charge your devices, and an extra USB port so you don't lose one of your minimal ports in the computer. I have the link for it below. When it comes to storage, you might have skipped the upgrade when you bought the Mac because the price was prohibitive. So you need an external drive but not all the drives are created equally. Depending on the interface, the data transfer differs a lot. There are cheaper hard drives and SSD drives, but the interface doesn't allow them for faster data transfer. Samsung T7 one terabyte SSD drive has USB 3.2 generation two interface. It has one gigabyte transfer rate. It is very rugged. So you don't have to worry when moving it around. It has 11,000 reviews with 4.7 average ratings at Amazon. I have the link below. Then you need a USB flash drive for transferring data between machines, between places. Kickstarter Data Traveler has 512 gigabyte capacity with USB 3.2 generation two interface. You can copy your whole hard drive Take this flash drive and go somewhere and use it as an external startup drive and access your whole computer. I have the link below for it. You always run out of USB ports in your Mac. You have keyboard, mouse, printer, USB flash drives, audio interface and a lot of others you want to have permanently connected. You don't want to reach behind every time you want to plug and unplug them. I have been using this Orico 7 port USB hub that only uses the USB A port in my Mac. The accessories I connect them don't need a faster interface. So I prefer to use the USB A port 
than the more valuable USB-C port. I made a review video for it. I have the link below. With these devices, you might have been left with some more money, but I believe these are the essentials every Mac owner should have. The moral of the story is, if you stop wasting your money on logos, you can live happily ever after. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel.